Hey guys, this is Kate and today I have a video showing how to make these little place cards using the Mama Elephant Cali letter stamp. So I'm going to go through all the steps of how to make these from start to finish and I hope that you enjoy this process. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to gather all of our supplies. So for this you're going to need several different things. You're going to need some colored cardstock, some whatever kind of fall colors you want to use that kind of coordinate with your leaves. You're going to need some white cardstock to cut the little um, panel that's going to have the names on it. Some watercolor paper because we're going to just um, do a panel of watercolor and then die cut that. So you're going to need um, the dies to create the a little scalloped background and then the panel with the name on it and those are both from Lawn Fawn sets. Actually, they're all Lawn Fawn dies. And then I'm going to use the stitched leaves Lawn Fawn dies also. There's two sets of leaves in here. And I'll have links to all the products below and probably on my blog also. So you're also going to need your um, watercolors. I'm going to use these um, Ganzai Tombi watercolor set. Some water, of course. And I use um, two different paintbrushes. I use like a larger one and then a... Um, like uh, round one and I have my craft mat there because I'm going to tape down my panel onto the craft mat to let it dry so it stays kind of flat and of course I'm going to be using this stamp set here from Mama Elephant and I believe I use some Versa Fine ink, a pencil, and a T-squared ruler. So of course you're going to need adhesive and stuff like that also but these are just the main main supplies that you probably don't are or maybe don't already have on hand or don't have right next to you. So the first thing we're going to do is to create our watercolor color panel because we want it to dry while we're doing the rest of the steps. So I'm just taking some like micropore tape and taping it down to a Tim Holtz craft mat. It's just a piece of one. I've cut it down and this is just going to keep it in place and keep it kind of flat while it's drying. And what I like to do is to go ahead and wet the area first with a big um, like flat brush and I do it in sections. So the first, I'm going to wet the first section and it just gives, I feel like it just gives the color a place to go, like some movement. And I don't use like a, a watercolor palette or anything. I just go straight from the little pot of color to the paper. And I'm just mixing some different, there's not, there's only like one really good red in this set. There's a lot of like pinky reds and orangey reds. So I'm just kind of mixing those and it looks crazy right now. I promise when it dries, it looks beautiful. And I don't believe I have a shot of it dried, but I'll try to insert a picture um, at some point in the video showing you what it looked like when it dried. So I'm just kind of going in this colors of the palette, really, just from red to orange to yellow to green, and then overlapping a little bit as I go just to, you know, so it's kind of blended and so all of our colors look nice together. The, the leaves I'm going to use at the end of the video are, are extra ones from when I did this the first time that I didn't film it. So, And now I'm just mixing in kind of some of that mustardy color, a little bit of a brighter yellow, and then that's going to transition into the greens. And one thing I do do with the green here, but I did also on the orange when I did it originally, is I added some brown to it just to give it a more rich, like darker fall look. And because these colors are pretty bright. So I love that olive green color. It is so pretty. And these watercolors are amazing. If you don't have these, you can use any watercolors. My two favorite sets to use are these and then the ones that you can get at like Michael's or um, any craft store really. So there I added some brown. They're great. These are just, um, I find that these are just really easy to use. And they don't require a whole lot of water, although I used a lot of water here. So that's what the panel looks like finished. And I'm going to set it aside to dry. And while we do, while that's drying, we're going to work on preparing the card bases and doing all the die cutting. And I've art, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. We're going to die cut all the pieces. I've already gone ahead and done this ahead of time. So you're going to want to cut a panel that's three and a half by three. And we're going to score that at 1.75 in order to fold it in half. And it is smaller than the scallop 
base because when you if you did it the exact same size they would stand up like really straight and I wanted them to kind of slant you know like when you put it at on the table so that people so you can see it easier you'll see once I adhere this it makes more sense but I just did it slightly smaller than the scallop so it fits perfectly in there And I just used some regular white, I think it's 110 pound cardstock. So now I'm going to put a line using my T-square ruler and my grid paper on the little panels. And I put the line in the same place on every one. So that way they have some continuity. And now we're going to get to play with this really fun stamp set. And one of the things I wanted to show you about this stamp set is that there are some letters that have there's two or three of those letters and with a little bit of a different swirl or embellishment to it and that is because some of them are meant to be at the beginning of the word and then some of them are meant to be in the middle and some of them are meant to be at the end so for instance this j is meant to be at the beginning now that would have looked fine except i didn't really care for the way that it looked with the a next to it so i went ahead and used this other j and i like the way that that looks better because it connects all the letters and I wanted it to have all the letters all letters connected so I just kind of eyeball where to begin the the name if you want to be super precise about it you could work backwards and start from the last letter so that it was you know flush with the edge but this works out pretty well because we want to offset it towards the right so that we have room for our leaves to the left now I'm doing Ellie and Jack which are our puppies just because I've already done all the names of the people so and that I want to also point out that that is a double L. So they give you a single L and then a double L, which makes it really nice because you can get them perfectly lined up. And I love the way that those turned out. Now, I'm not going to erase the lines yet because I used VersaFine ink. And VersaFine is a pigment ink that takes a while to dry. And I made this mistake before. So I'm going to let those dry for a good while before I erase around them. Now, here's all of the extra leaves that I had left over from the original project that I did because originally I was going to put a bunch of leaves on each place card which I ended up only using one on each and I'm going to show you on these two how you could do it with a bunch of different leaves so I'm just going to kind of erase the the line that's not right underneath the ink just so it looks a little bit nicer but like I said you're going to you definitely want to wait and let that ink dry totally if you use a VersaFine. If you used a dye ink, it would be no problem because that pretty much dries instantly. So I'm just kind of fussing about arranging these leaves and I'm gonna use some different dimensions, some pop dots behind some of them and then some of them I'm gonna adhere just flat. But that's pretty much the gist of, of how to create these um, little place cards. They're super fun and you could do this for any holiday. Just to all, the only thing you'd have to change really is the die cuts that you use. You could even use like pre-made embellishments or die cuts from a pack, you know, that goes with a collection or anything, you know, for Christmas or Valentine's Day or birthday parties, whatever. It They take no time at all. And that stamp set is so easy to stamp. It, it's really quick. And once you get the hang of lining the letters up, it's super, super fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And this was actually a request from... A subscriber and I really appreciate you leaving that below because I I really like knowing what kind of videos you guys would like to see um, it takes away some of the nervousness of posting because I know that at least somebody wanted to see it <laughs> but anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I hope that um, maybe it'll give you some inspiration of how to use some of your craft supplies this holiday at least for Thanksgiving and I will see you guys all very soon take care thanks so much for watching bye